what are the signs of a narcissistic parent and how do you cope with such a narcissistic parent? So before we begin, who is a narcissistic parent? So we have this narcissistic mothers and fathers who may be having some traits of narcissistic personality disorder. And for people who are narcissistic, what they do, they, they have this feeling of being of self-importance. They think they are important than everybody. They lack empathy that they don't feel anything for you. They don't have feelings for you even when you are going through bad times. They may use manipulation tactics on you. They may try to dominate every aspect of your life. And for them, everything should be about them because they feel they are superior to every person. So if you have such a parent like that, then we can say that we are talking about a narcissistic parent, a narcissistic mother, or a narcissistic father. So what are the signs that will make you know that you are living or you are staying with a narcissistic parent, a narcissistic mother, or father? And how would you cope with such narcissistic parents? Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. So what is the first sign that will make you know that you are living with a narcissistic parent, a narcissistic mother, or father? The first sign is this, that they focus all the family's time and attention on themselves. Anything that has to do with your family, they think the time, the money, and everything in their family should be just focused on them. So these are the kind of parents who can make money and would never you know, use the money for the development of children of you as a child, but they use the money. Every money they get, they just use it on themselves and try to look more greater, look more nicer in every aspect of life because they think they are superior. And that is one sign that will make you know that you are living with a narcissistic parent. The other thing that will make you know that you are living with a narcissistic parent is that they don't show any concern or compassion for you as a child. You know, you may be sick. They don't really care about the fact that you are sick. They will still use their money and their time for many different things. They will not try to show concern or have any remorse or feeling for you. It's all about them. And therefore, they will not show any compassion for you as a narcissistic parent. So if you are living with a parent who never shows any compassion and care for you, it might be that they have some narcissistic personality traits and you need to check that out. Another thing that will make you know that you are living with a narcissistic parent is that they never take accountability when things go wrong. So for them, they think they are superior than anybody. So if anything should go wrong, for them to take accountability or to take responsibility and know that it might be due to a fault from them, they will always try to shift the blame onto you because they want to feel superior over you all the time. And that will be another sign of a parent who is narcissistic. Another sign for you to check if you are living with a narcissistic parent, mother or father, is that they are overly controlling they will try to control every aspect of your life they never give you that opportunity to use your brains to think and make decisions for yourself in any aspect of your life if you are being totally controlled by your parent your mother or father it could be that that person might be having a narcissistic personality trait the other thing that you need to look out for if you are living with a narcissistic parent father or mother is that they rule by domination they rule you by fear and they rule you by manipulation so narcissistic parent because they think they are self they are important than anybody they think they are superior to you they will dominate every aspect of your life and they will try to use fear tactics against you that if you don't do it they will instill some fear i'll do this to you i'll do that to you and that brings fear in you and then they also try to manipulate you in in, in their dealings with you they try to outsmart you they try to use some tricks on you this can definitely be a sign that you are living with a narcissistic parent the other sign to look out for in a narcissistic parent is that they will tease you, they will mock you, they will bully you or even gaslight you. So these are the kind of parents that can tease you even with your physical appearance, that can tease you even with your, the way you've dressed or even the way you look. This kind of stuff would definitely be a sign that you're living with a narcissistic parent or mother. They can't even mock you, you know, even when you do well in the exam, you know, because they're narcissistic, they might even laugh at your results and make you look so stupid before them. So narcissistic parent will tease you, they will mock you, they also try to bully you, you know, in many instances whilst you live with them. And that should definitely be a sign that you are living with a narcissistic parent. Another thing for you to look out for in a narcissistic parent is that they only show you conditional love. They only show you love when things are good, when they think they'll get something good from you. When you are sick, when things are bad, you will not see them show you any love because opportunity for them to show that they are superior, for opportunity for them to dominate you and make you feel stupid and make you feel inferior before them because they think they are superior than you or than everybody. That is one thing if they are showing you conditional love, they love you when things are good, they don't love you when things are bad, that should show you that that is a narcissistic parent and they are using that bad times against you. 
So what can you do or how can you cope or how can you deal with a narcissistic parent? What can you do about it? Well, you need to first of all remind yourself that you are dealing with a narcissistic parent. Yes, you should be able to find the science out for yourself and know that this person is a narcissistic person. It will make things way easier and easy for you to understand and not to be so derailed in your mind by their behavior or their acts towards you. The other thing you need to look at when you are trying to deal with a narcissistic parent is that you no, know you cannot change the narcissist. You have to know that you cannot change a narcissistic parent. Narcissistic people are generally difficult to change. It's more, it's more beyond just behavior. It's a trait that they have. And that is how they see themselves. And that's how they see that they are superior, that, that they need to, you know, uh, not care about other people. They need to destroy, they need to control, and so on and so forth. So, know that it's also difficult to change a narcissistic parent. You might spend years trying to change them and whatever they would never change they are still going to be what they are and then you also need to avoid questioning yourself in trying to deal with a narcissistic parent the idea is to make you see that you are inferior that you are always wrong and they are the right people so no need to question yourself it's just pure lies it's just based on their own superiority mindset that they have of themselves and there's no need for you to question yourself whether you're a good person or you are a bad person because you are dealing with a narcissistic parent the other thing to look out for in trying to cope with a narcissistic parent is that don't try to explain narcissism to the narcissist. You would definitely make them become wild on you if you try to make them see that they are having a narcissistic trait and you want them to know about it. Never talk to them about it. Just find a way on how to live with them and how to live and how to you know deal with them and be able to make it in life. One thing you can also do in trying to cope or deal with a narcissistic parent matter of father is that never isolate yourself with a narcissistic parent. Don't always try to have someone in their mess when you want to talk to them about things that are important to you in your life because when you have someone there it's difficult for them to be able to play their narcissistic traits on you but if you are there with them alone then they can really exhibit their narcissistic trait on you in trying to dominate you making you feel that they are superior you are inferior and so on and so forth the other thing you can do is that you need to be firm and set some boundaries that if one of the narcissistic behaviors towards you is insulting you making you feel inferior let them know that they shouldn't insult you they shouldn't make you feel inferior. You need to set these boundaries when you are dealing with a narcissistic person because they just can't stop making you feel inferior and insulting and making you look lower before them. And that you can do in trying to deal with a narcissistic parent is that don't accept false promises. They are the people who will promise you about things that they would want to do with you, but they would never really do the promises that they've made to you. So you have to be firm on your grounds and say that I won't take false promises no more. You tell me this, you have to do it. If you don't do it, I'm out of this relationship with you, right? The other thing that you can do is to seek external help from a clinical psychologist and any other mental health professional to help you deal with a narcissistic parent. And then the final thing I'll tell you about dealing with a narcissistic parent is that you have to be willing to pause. You have to be willing to end the relationship, okay? Sometimes before you can really progress in life, you need to end that relationship with a narcissistic parent because they will try to dominate you all the time. They will try to do everything to make you see that you are inferior and they are the better person they are superior to you sometimes you need to leave that relationship before you can really put yourself together and leave because literally what is happening is that you are being abused you know narcissistically you know you are going through a narcissistic abuse with a narcissistic parent so sometimes you need to be willing to end the relationship so these are my tips on how to deal with a narcissistic parent father mother i'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe to this channel